Oh, right, my friends. Welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we'd take a look at the Infanteriekanonvagn 72. Or the much easier to pronounce IKV 72. Now, the IKV 72 was a light assault gun developed for the Swedish Army by Landsberg. In early 1949, the Swedish Army initiated a project to develop a light assault gun which could replace towed guns in the infantry support role. The purpose was to provide direct fire support for infantry attacks. The only requirements for the new vehicle were that the vehicle needed to be a small, lightweight design with a limit of six tons. This was intended to reduce cost so that a larger amount could be produced. In the spring of 1949, Landsverk AB, the leading Swedish manufacturer of armored vehicles, put forward its own self-propelled gun project. The possibility of using an existing chassis as the basis for the project was not excluded, and the submission received the designation Tankette FM-49. After testing, the military did not require the development of a new armored vehicle, but offered to modernize the existing project, which greatly simplified further work. The military demanded that the existing design be strengthened by changing the hull design and armament. These changes would most likely require an upgrade to the power plant. The required changes would fully comply with the requirements of the military, and such a vehicle had a very good chance to enter service and go into series production. The modified design was submitted as a new project in 1951, and after the vehicle demonstrated its capabilities, it was put into service under the designation IKV-72. The IKV-72 was a casement design with an open top superstructure and a crew of four. The superstructure was at the front of the vehicle with the engine and gearbox at the rear. The weight of the vehicle was eight tons. The gun was mounted at the front of the vehicle and gun traverse was limited to five degrees. Although the initial gun caliber for the IKV-72 was supposed to be at least 105 millimeters, no 105 millimeter guns were available at the time. So the vehicle was armed with a 75 millimeter as a temporary measure. From 1953 to 1954, Landsberg delivered 36 IKV-72s to the Swedish Army. From 1956 to 1958, the IKV-72 was modified to the IKV-102 version. Armored hatches were attached to the top of the superstructure to protect the crew from shrapnel and sniper fire. The 75mm gun was replaced by a 105mm gun with a muzzle brake developed by Bofors, and the weight of the vehicle increased to 8.8 .8 tons. In the 1960s, the IKV-102 was given heat shells in addition to HE for defense against other armored fighting vehicles. The IKV-103 was a minor improvement over the IKV-102. It still retained the 105mm gun, but it received an engine upgrade with the B-42 horizontally opposed four-cylinder engine developed by Volvo Aereo. The air intake was also moved from the crew compartment to grills on the rear of the vehicle. These modifications did not increase the weight and it remained at 8.8 .8 tons. Now, in War Thunder Arcade, the IKV-72 is located in the Swedish Tech Tree. It is a rank one tank destroyer with a battle rating of 1.7. In 
It has a 254 horsepower engine propelling the 8-ton vehicle to a top speed of 38 miles per hour. Its main armament is a 75mm M41 cannon with a maximum ammo load of 42 rounds. It does not have any secondary armament. Now I have assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150, which gives me a reload of 6.2 seconds. So what do I think of the IKV-72 here in War Thunder Arcade? Well, the gun is great, but your armor is crap. You are susceptible to everything. Regular cannons, auto cannons, 50 cals, machine guns, artillery fire, aircraft scraping attacks. So yeah, that's your main problem. Everything is your main problem. That being said, why don't we hop into a game and see what I was able to do. The IVK-72. Here we go. All right, we picked up Eastern Europe. We are on the south side of the map. There's three cap points. And I'm probably going to head F five somewhere. Get about five seconds before we spawn in. All right, here we go. The IKV-72 is fairly quick though, but it can be a little hard uh, to control, a little bit of oversteer when you're stationary and trying to um, just touch a little bit. It doesn't have much of a gun traverse, about six degrees, so it does take repositioning the hull quite a bit. And uh, sometimes you get a little oversteer from there, but the gun is really good for long distances. I'm going to see if I can get up here and get some flank shots. I may be pushing a little too far ahead, but we'll see. I'm going to try to use this hill to my left as a little bit of cover. We'll oversteer there. Oh, I thought he was going to come on through. Okay, oh. Dang it. Okay. Alright, so three shots, three misses. Back off from here for a second. You really want to have some cover that you can get behind when you're reloading in this thing. pretty certain that one of those guys will be back. Revenge killing and all. Ooh, let's see. Yes. Shadowing. 
kind of hoping somebody will show up in one of those two open spots here. Oh. Let's try it. Dang it, hit the corner of the house. The building, whatever it is. Oh no! Air attack. Well, you gotta give him props. He didn't kamikaze me, so it's good. Alright, here we go. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Got him. Kamikaze attacks are the worst. Dang it. Reload, reload. FM4344. He's got a big old gun. He's going behind a building there. Let's see what's up this way. H39. FM is back out and he's back in. Oh, dang it. I rushed it. Press that shot. All right, got his engine. Should be able to finish him off here. Got him. Uh oh. Looks like we got some company coming. I thought there was another one. Oh shoot! Turn, 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 turn! Got it. His slow turret rotation killed him, but somebody else is coming. I need to vacate the area. And I think he's gonna shoot me in the butt, so let's see if we can face him. Dang it, he got my driver and I missed him. Okay, well. Probably got me. Oh, why didn't he finish me off? <clears throat> that was a mistake. That's two guys who should have killed me right there. And another kamikaze attack. He's behind some poles of other dead vehicles. Got him. Got him, got him. You stay away from that auto cannon fire. Replenishing our crew member. Let's peek up over this hill. What do we got here? Oh, man. Missed again. Got him that time. Let's take 
out this air battle. Let's back up in here and hide. Oh, dead M8 behind me. Maybe I can get behind him to cover. Oh. All right, maybe we're partially covered. We've got four bombs. I see at least four targets right now. I'll try to go for this light tank that's closest. Uh, he's got a friendly right beside him, so we will pass over him. Go for this guy. And he got blown up, so we got nothing. We did kill 12 ground targets, so, so it's not too bad. Ooh, these late night games. All right. We accomplished the mission. We came in second place on the team. Adamant, double strike, tank rescuer, shadow strike streak, one shot, professional, survivor, and heavy metal hero. We came in second place on the team. And 12 kills, 93% battle activity. We'll take that. All right, we picked up Frozen Pass. This has usually got good hills to hide behind. The IKB-72 has really good gun depression. So, we'll see if we can't put that to use on this map. in the northeast corner then. If there weren't those two big mountains, I'd try to find a good position to get some flanking fire. But this is downhill from that side of the mountains. So we're just going to need to make our stand down here somewhere. Pretty sure somebody should be coming around this corner, but maybe not. Get a little bit downhill so that it crosses the open area. Further down here, a lot of control there. All right, there's one. Three right there. Maybe I can get him reloaded. Oh, I got a BT7 or a BT5. Should have been a kill. 
reposition just a little bit. Got him. Wow. Nobody is paying me any mind down here. Looking at the mini map to see where these guys are coming to see if they're going to dive down and try to flank me. But I don't think they are. I may have to move up some. round on this machine is very nice. get hardy so I can't call in hardy strikes on that group up there. Oh, PT5. No, I just saw his turret go flying. This has been such a good spot I'm hesitant to leave it. We're going to probably a mistake. But let's see. Got him. Let's see. Just can't quite get a bead on him. Some. Let's see if we can come this way. A better look. Got him. Oh, the else. I'm reloading. Here we go. Good gun depression and wait. Got him. on Sunday. 
Let's see. First place in the team. All right, let's take a look at these awards. Teamwork, Double Strike, Triple Strike, Tank Rescuer, Avenger, Professional, Shadow Strike Streak, One Shot, Survivor, Heavy Metal Hero, and The Best Squad. 15 kills. Give me 90% battle activity. Alright. The IKV-72. With the 75mm gun, this vehicle can punch above its weight class, but it does have a glass jaw, and when you get hit with a larger gun, it usually knocks you out. This vehicle performs best on hilly terrain where you can use its great gun depression and I would say probably worst on urban maps where you have to go around buildings and things. But if you've liked this look at the IKV-72, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters and my GoFundMe supporters. I hope to see your name in the credits. Thank you.